Welcome back to our free series on working with addictive drums from Recording School Online. Now, you may have noticed in the effects here, we have distortion. If you want to make your drums sound, you know, more processed, not a natural sound, you have the option of doing that. And the distortion is one quick way to do it. I've got that on the snare. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like and how to use it. Let me explain how that works. You actually have presets here, different types of distortion that can be used. We've got selected to bit crush right now. The amount, actually, the more you add, of course, that's the more you're sending to the distortion. And the mix is the relationship between the wet and the dry signal. And that's the process and the unprocessed signal. Now, what really makes this usable is the fact that you've got range control. So if I only want it on the upper frequencies, I would actually slide this up and these colored bars here are the ones, that's the frequency range that actually is being processed. Have a listen. We can make it a very narrow bandwidth with the whole snare. Very cool. And if I want to really take that to the extreme, I can go up to the pitch here. And the volume control. Very nice. A lot of control right in the program itself. And that's one of the nicest things about the addictive drums. Let's take it further by working with some of the beats. Go to the next video and we'll get into that.